All right, so I went to the fabric store today, got some more uh, marine grade vinyl and recovered the seat. Uh, we got some, um, I think they're permanent. Um, I'll try heating them up or letting them sit out in the sun tomorrow, but when I was putting this on, I was heating up and I think they kind of left a scar there. Um, I mean, it's not wrinkled, but it's like the leather is kind of something or other, I don't know. I'll, I'll try heating them out again, but the one there, one there, and one there. But, I mean, it definitely doesn't feel, you know, it's not a wrinkle, I'd say. It's just from heating it up, and I think it got hot and did that. So, uh, we'll, uh, see what happens with that. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it's better than it did. And then I uh, put my seat cover on my bike today. Um, got this one on Amazon, Christmas present. But, uh, this one, nice and grippy. Uh, it's kind of got like little rubber dots on it. So should be able to hold my butt on there when I go around corners and stuff. The other one was just getting too slick. You know, once, once they start getting old, they get like all shiny and smooth and they just make you slide around a lot. So uh, I did those today. It took me a good better half of the afternoon to get those done. Um, this vinyl, this marine grade vinyl was thicker than the stuff I used on that uh, Arctic cat. So uh, it was a little harder to manipulate. You know, it's a little colder out these days, so heat gun was definitely uh, being utilized a lot. I do have parts coming for that. Uh, I got the choke cable, the battery, the battery hold down, uh, front brake pads, rear brake shoes, uh, new battery, the decal kit, new grips, and I think that's it. And then I did find um, two new, well I found four, a set of four Honda rims today. Uh, guy was asking 75 bucks for all four. So went and picked those up. I got two backs. And I got two fronts. So decent shape. Um, a couple little dings on them, but nothing crazy. They're not bent or anything. I can deal with that. So. Yeah, um, so now I have, uh, I still have the one extra front Honda one, the one extra front Suzuki one, uh, one rare Suzuki, and now I have two rare Honda ones. So, if I need to do anything with the bike down the road, so be it. And then I'll have these two fronts, which I really don't know what I'm gonna do with them anyway, but I'll just hang on them just in case. So, yeah, everything's ordered. Everything should be here in a few days to a week. And uh, debating on whether I want to do the uh, piston and the jug. Um, I fired the wife's bike up today, and um, I need to do another comparison with this one. Uh, but it's all torn down now, so I get some parts at least, the battery and stuff. I'll. Uh, Throw that in there and see what it sounds like again. But um, as far as the valves go, I mean, there's always valve noise on these things. My wife's bike is pretty quiet, but um, this one sounded pretty bad before I adjusted the valves. Uh, it definitely sounds better after, but I don't know. I'm just so used to hearing this engine and this engine that, you know, it just may very well be normal um i do listen you know watch some videos of some other 250s and you know you still have that same engine sound and i honestly just think it's normal but you know that's just me being paranoid i guess so but yeah um seat covers are done and wheels have been found uh, i'll probably go over on monday and have them swap them over at discount tire uh, I always try to pop the beads first, you know, driving the car over it, the truck over it, but never, never works for me. It's only worked for me once, so it's just easier to bring it to them and have them do it. So uh, that's where we're at. 
on this New Year's Eve. 